Good morning. Welcome all of you. Bande Matram. This morning we are have we have chosen a uh, very interesting topic that is on let thy will be done, not mine. So the topic of choice for this morning is on uh, let thy will be done and not mine. For the way we are going to discuss on divine will. To will what the divine wills that is the secret of sadhana so for that actually we are going to discuss little bit on uh, both from both philosophy both the writings of mother and of, of course from the master Sri Aurobindo. so uh, first initially we will uh, go for the uh, very interesting definition as defined by Sri Aurobindo on will what really we understand the word will uh, because let thy will be done not mine that is the prayer in under all circumstances and always that is that must be the uh, secret of our sadhana anyway uh, Sri Aurobindo has uh, I will try to quote two messages from Sri Aurobindo on will so uh, initially Sri Aurobindo quotes our human will is a misled and wandering ray our human will that is the human will is the perversion of the divine will from the supreme it has been perverted and the, at the lowest level it has turned the human will it always airs it always actually defaults it there is always kind of uh, chance of finding the error and all so our human will is a misled and wandering ray that has parted from the supreme positions human will had been parted from the supreme positions it is misled and wandering ray initially at the top it was supreme positions it was very much clear accurate complete truthful but here our human will that is misled and wandering ray where we find and we stay and of course we live with it second share in the course beautifully on will Nothing can prevail against the soul's entire will to reach the divine. Nothing can prevent, prevail. Nothing can prevail against the soul's entire will. Here is the will, soul's entire will to reach the divine. And nothing can prevent it and nothing can prevent finally. No human will can finally prevail against the divine will. So we have got two wills. One is divine will, another is human will. Human will normally destructs, misleads and of course um, 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 brings out of track the entire thing. So here in the course no human will can finally prevail against the divine will. That is mostly the top secret of this yoga. So let thy will be done not mine. Finally the divine will will prevail. No human will can prevail against the divine will. and. Uh, human will is only a perversion of the divine will it has to be carried forward to reach the uh, divine div, uh, divinity's heights that is what the requirement and uh, that is what for that only we are doing the sadhana in a very interesting way and a very in a very active way so the things are very much clear very crystal clear my nurse here of Hindu has quoted this is the right thing nothing with the human will has to become a part is it really a part of the divine will and this human will has to be made one with the gods human thought could echo the thought of god if if the human will can could can can be made one with the gods if human thought could echo the thought of god then man might be all knowing and omnipotent all knowing and omnipotent if a human will could be made one with the gods and the human thought could echo the thought of god but here the quote but uses the word but he is now moving in the church doubtful way yet again here the quote, starts the sentence with it the mind of man can receive the god's, the god's light and of course uh, the force of man can be divine by the god's word god's force if this is done mind of man can be divine can receive the god's light and the force of man could be given by the god's force then uh, he, then man can shall be a miracle then is he a miracle doing miracles thus and then so he will be the nature's king so this is the condition and it has to be lifted off, it has to be elevated and it has to be one with the divine will. Human will has to be made one with the divine will. 
with that he can be all knowing and omnipotent he can be doing miracle doing miracles he is thus can be you know, the nature's king anyway um, we'll uh, read something from uh, mother's message finally we'll see um, what the divine wills that we will will that is the complete that is the top secret that is the secret of the satana that's what we have to do and the more of her uh, on de describing and defining the divine will mother course the divine is will is like this it is something like a process it is a channel of water and it must be very much open and it must be very much wide so that so that uh, his force the divine force will enter and the flow into the as the river uh, flows through the channel like uh, river or uh, a branch river or stream to the it's ever awaited ever um, lover that is see so that you like like this it must be open and wide so that this divine grace and divine um, um, power will flow smoothly towards the end against your in the mother course be silent in peace and with the unshakable ardent faith you try to consecrate yourself to surrender near the divine that is what the requirement whatever happens mother course that is the only the result of the divine will what the divine wills that that greater reflection is found to whatever is happening inside us that is the secret again then then you do the human work activities they may be only a method only it is only a symptom it is only a, a path but thing is that it is not at the not at all the end again mother course fully you make yourself an empty slate or empty paper so that the divine nothing will be hindered from you nothing will be will obstruct you and that the divine will be there to read everything so that he will write his intention on the on you so your life must be like an empty slate or empty paper again for the course as per our capability we have to do our the work in the best possible manner and leaving the result to the divine and the that is the true way for peace ananda force progress and the finally the entire perfection that's what we have to do part about what the real thing what really we have to do that is actually uh, you have to um, engage yourself in a silently and movelessly for the work of the work of the divine and finally he his will will be done and he will do everything for you and the main most of the time divine will finally prevails only thing can be articulated anything that can be effectuated and it will come to practice that is divine will not the human will we have got the mother course we have got our rights we can make our demands near the divine mother course let the soul come with all its demands so that it can be fulfilled and i need it i want it to be done like this human the, the finally divine will will prevail everything will be done as per the requirement and as per the with the will as per the will of the divine but thing is that it is not done as per the human will it will be done and it must be done it is bound to be done as per the divine sanction divine option divine willing and divine uh, of course can carry it as per he wills that is what the requirement anyway uh, we are going to little bit to, to read sriyora window in detail of course we are going to see what really this um, uh, will really it summarizes we will find uh, what is the to when we are reading of the divine will sriyora window course when the mind how shall we know that uh, this is divine will or it is asuric will or it is a human will or it is a will of the ego how can we be able to know then very simply in a very simple manner we feel okay he is a good sadhaka doing some sadhana give it delivering speech and all you try to refer it to the ask the question he can answer that is not the right answer because he is also going on the way the path and the, you know, of course the success depends upon the nature and personality of the sadhaka for every sadhaka this path and this track have been completely different nothing remains the same 
so how we, you will be knowing and we will be knowing whether it is a human will asuric will the perverted will divine will how can we know mother steer up in the course in two um, very clear crystal crystal clear manner very interestingly steer up in the tries to explain uh, when the mind is pure condition number one psychic is prominent number two then one can know what is according to divine will and what is against it two things must prevail so that with these two things anybody can be able to know what is divine will and what is against it against it number one is when mind is pure purity of mind number one that can then prominence of psychic it has to come out now itself the psychic is veiled it is on actually uh, hidden it is passive but thing is that it has to gain its prominence it has to come out so that anybody can be able to know what is actually divine will and uh, no, what is against is so the mind is pure and the psychic is prominent again sheer window what the divine wills is always for the best that's what the example we have known what the divine wills that is for the best one uh, i can remember um, one thing no one somebody was transferred to a new town new city there itself he could be able to know from maybe from internet or something he came to know that there are two clubs one one is for the bhagyavadis man with uh, fate and fortune destiny second one is hetubadi region analysis region analysis of the argument like this so where he has to go initially he decides to go and accept the membership of the of some club finally um, he decides and go to the first club that is meant for the bhagyavadi club means it is destined who are um, destined to follow the fate destiny like this they are itself he reaches and expects his intention that he wants to join the join the club the manager asks for what you are here why you are interested in joining us then this man is asked asking actually i am very very much concerned if i get engaged get involved in this um, club then actually i will get some friends that the friends will uh, happiness the pleasure of the friends will be available and we will have some discussion then it will be very much reliable very much interesting and very much pleasurable for me so this manager fell feels then you want uh, there must be some debate some discussion some um, an analysis like this but uh, but we are here we are just following our fate destiny so this is not the right club for you again you go so what will this man will do he further proceeds the second club that is for the hetubadi region analysis debate uh, like this so there itself manager asks what for you are interested to join this club no no actually i want uh, see you. this club was there in near me near my house but actually they refused so i don't have any option so ask uh, i am following my fate and coming so that you can accept i will get some pleasure i will get entangled like this then this manager is speaking no 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 it is not the for the people who are uh, following their fate it is a hetubadi ashram you have to go for analysis debate um, uh, something something like one discussion like this so we can't accept you please move on so all the way it happened that uh, in both the club he could never join he could not be, become the um, member of any ashram because uh, he placed wrong um, he placed himself wrongly near the as the club managers so anyway it was the divine will it was it is actually blocking the human will let him get silent because uh, maybe what the divine wills that is the best for us here also steer been having the same person where the divine wills is always for the best even then even when the, the <clears throat> mind does not see how it is mind always revolves because it has come for a purpose but actually it is simply thrown out so there is a revolt mind does not know what is good for me and all because mind is the purpose reflection of the super mind it is only whatever it thinks it feels it is by very, very accurate but thing is accuracy is uh, uh, beyond its the reachability of the mind so what the divine wills that is for the best and even when the mind does not see it again the thing is that uh, two terms are coming really divine will then just imagine uh, how the divine what is the divine then 
divine alone is the observer of that there is no it was there it is here and the, the destiny or the end point the goal is also divine for those who wish to lead the spiritual life the divine must come first then everything comes secondary so for the spiritual seeker, seeker divine is the goal divine is everything it comes with only nothing it is coming primary the divine can lead he does not actually drive actually he leads then another technically another technically something is coming to our mind then what is the relation between divine and the uh, human still so, you know, having a very nice observation of that he has the mind test observation on the human and the divine divine has to veil himself in order to meet the human human that is the, the secret only uh, we know mind is man human when thou has to climb above thy mind thou can become the a human so in order to meet the human god has to the divine has to wrap himself otherwise if he is coming in the original position original form original name man will never be in a position to recognize and know him so the divine has to veil himself in order to meet the human and uh, how really he plays his parts what about the divine lila to the materialist he disguises himself in matter to the materialist, he disguises himself in matter. For the nihilist, he waits ambushed in the bosom of annihilation. That is the different formats, different names, different um, functions uh, he is coming. To the materialist, he disguises himself in matter. And uh, for the nihilist, he waits ambushed in the bosom of annihilation. Again, number three. We know the divine and become the divine because we are that already in our secret nature. We have got our two nature, two, two types of nature. One nature is visible to the naked eyes and the second is our secret nature. Sometimes we feel uh, we know the divine and become the divine because we are that already in our secret nature. We are divine, we have forgotten, we are the sons of God, we don't have any proof. And you are God, you are supposed to become God, that, that's what we have forgotten. And you have to remember and you have to become. So like this, we know the divine because, uh, you know, and know the divine and become the divine. To know is good, to live is better and to be that is perfect. Our purpose here already we have discussed to discover the divine, to manifest the divine, to become the divine. Here was here in the course. <coughs> we know the divine and become the divine because we are that already in our secret nature. You don't know what you are planting there. But thing is that so suppose uh, you have put a uh, seed that is something like lotus. Finally, you will find the uh, the tree is lotus. If it is basil, naturally the outcome will be basil. It will be very much fragrant. Like this, um, sometimes we find that the entire field is actually barren. Nothing is there. But in a corner somewhere, one mango plant has uh, actually it has sprouted and it has grown up. Where it was because the seed was sleeping uh, inside the, the earth under the earth. So when it was there was a proper climate, climatic condition acclimatized properly, then it has actually from the seed it came out. Finally, steer in the course. If the divine we are not in you, you would never know the divine. How we are able to know the divine because uh, we are already divine. We know the divine. Our purpose is to become the divine, to discover the divine, to manifest the divine. Because mother is here in the course, if we were not in you, if the divine were not in you, there is a, uh, we can see seeds, so afterwards when it is acclimatized, then the thing came forward and the tree actually uh, grew up. If there is no tree at all, the no seed at all, then what is the probability? At not at all possible. And some miracle might be maybe there, like overnight you can find a big tree is actually standing uh, near the, in the village and it was not there. So who made the miracle? That was the common question. But it is done, it was divine will or some tantric has done it, some miracle has happened. That is the topic of discussion we can later on, we can come. But here, here in the course, if the divine were not in you, because divine is definitely it is you in you, it is in us, in everybody. The spirit seed out of Godhead um, actually uh, sparks in the human breast. It was there, lurks in the human breast. Master exist of existence lurks in us. That's what uh, has been quoted and uh, um, defined beautifully, glorified beautifully by Sri Aurobindo. The master ex of existence lurks in us. The seed of the divine uh, Lord, in, it is there inside us. 
sleeps on, uh, on you on scene inside us so here um, uh, the steer steer in the course if the divine we are not in you you would never know the divine so definitely it is there a divine life must be first and foremost and in our life we have to grow we have to go we have to discover we have to become we have to identify that is the secret of sadhana so finally one thing can be achieved and one can take one thing can be take taken as a gist or can be summarized like this uh, we have to do one thing we have to play the divine under all circumstances at a brief point of time let thy will be done and not mine Thank you, Pandey Matram.